Hey guys, Rick Stahl here with Interathlete at the Interathlete headquarters. So today, this week actually, I'm talking to you about um, your, your ass. You need a big ass to haul ass. We all know that, right? So this thing's got to work first. So when we're running, we're taking that step down. And the one thing that drives us back is this big guy here, your butt, your glute max. So what we're thinking of is the three muscles that fire to make you run, that extend the hip, is primarily, number one, the glute max. Number two, the adductor magnus. That's a big meaty thing right here. And number three is the hamstrings. What we see mostly in people, especially with the athletic population, is that people's hamstrings fire first, or their low back fires first, and the butt either fires last or not at all. So today I'm gonna to take you through some things on one, to assess, and two, to get your ass working, so one, deadlift can go up, two, your sprints can get faster, you can jump higher, and it's look fantastic in a pair of jeans. So we're gonna pan right down to my good friend Vito. He's lying on his stomach right here. And what you're going to do to your closest buddy, obviously you're going to ask him about this first, is you're going to put one finger on his glute max, and you're going to put another finger on his hamstring, I just put my finger on the hamstring, thumb on the butt, and then one finger on his lower back. So all I'm going to ask him to do is to extend his back leg. So pick his leg off the ground, go ahead Vito, and then right back down. So you may have to do this a few times, what you'll feel is the order of firing process, so what you'll probably feel is hamstring fire first, low back, and then ass, excuse me, butt, or no butt at all, right? So ideally it would be one, two, three. Chances are it's one, two, zero. Okay, right now I'm gonna take you through some exercises on how to fix that problem. So that's all you really need to get that butt firing is a ball. So what you do is you're gonna land on your back, you get that ball thin right in there. So you're gonna pull your knee up, and what you do is you put your hands on the ground, palms up, and you're gonna squeeze the butt, Hip up right here. What you'll notice is that if you go up too high, that knee will come off and that ball will roll up. That shows us that you're using your back instead of your butt. So what you're gonna do to get that butt fired is really go 10 reps and then a 10 second hold at the top. You should feel that glute really squeeze. Right? Obviously the same thing on the other side. Secondly, once that's fine, we can actually recruit that pattern, reinforce that pattern by doing an exercise called the poke up. What we're gonna do is grab the ropes, jack up the way of the machine, on the cable column, and you'll walk forward a bit, right? Assume the delicate position, so bend the knees, shoulders are packed. I'm gonna reach down and back, my chest is parallel with the ground, and I'm standing up, squeezing the glutes, and right up top, you reach it right back here. There it is. So if anybody who has any deadlifting problems, that's a great way to teach you the exact kind of it. Also get this thing fired a bit more and help you jump, run, deadlift, doors. If you have any questions, make sure you hashtag Joe Pro on Facebook or Twitter.